This video covers basic topics of protection in our industry network example. Active study case 2 protection contains network variation name protection devices. This network variation includes protection relays in our network. Let us have a look at network data manager for more information. Select relay model. As you can see, 74 relays are built in our system. To graphically represent relays available in database, diagram coloring can be used. This option will color all elements where relays are located. Let us have a closer look at one relay. This relay contains eight blocks. Current transformer, measurement block, two over current block for faults phase to phase and two for faults phase to earth, and two logic blocks. To see how these blocks are connected, open relay in data manager. To do this select relay with the right mouse button and select show graphic. Here it should be easy to understand how a relay works. Current transformer measures current and sends its value to measurement block. This measurement block estimates maximum current value and zero component of current and sends it to four over current blocks. If one of those blocks sees current that is higher than the set pickup current, it will send this information to the logic. And finally, logic will send tripping signal to circuit breaker if one of its input signals is set to true. Let us create a time over current plot for this relay. Time over current curve contains two parts. Each part represents one active block of this relay. If the current seen by this instantaneous block is higher than 2320 amperes, a tripping signal will be generated and sent to logic in 35 milliseconds. Second overcurrent relay block is set to generate a tripping signal for all current values higher than 320 amperes. Let us run load flow and short circuit calculation. A new line on the graph represents value of the current seen by the relay. In this case this current is below tripping curve. Relay will not trip. Value represented here is exactly the same as the one seen in single line diagram. The three-phase short circuit fault, directly on connection point of asynchronous machine, will cause our relay to trip instantaneously. Not just characteristic of a protection device can be represented in time over current plot, but also a characteristic of the protected object. For this let us add a characteristic of asynchronous machine. As you can see this machine has a starting current 10 times higher than the nominal current. This has to be taken into account when selecting relay settings. Let us check selectivity of this relay with the one above, by adding its characteristic here. For the same three phase short circuit, red relay will trip in 0.035 seconds and blue one in 0.155 seconds. This means that in case the red fails to trip, blue one will react as backup. Adding all relays of interest on this way could take some time. A quick way of creating a plot with all relays of interest is by creating a path. To create path, select all elements that should be contained in path. Go right mouse button and select path, new. Once a path has been created, you can select one of the elements of the path with the right mouse button and select path. 
time over current plot. New created plot contains time over current characteristics of all protection devices of the path, on one side and single line diagram representation of the path, on the other. Single line representation can be adapted easily. All changes made in the new tab will be taken automatically in time over current plot. Two phase maximum short circuit will be executed. As you can see on the overcurrent plot, there is one possible problem. The turquoise fuse from the primary side of the transformer is tripping before the pink relay. For this topology this is not a big issue. The bigger problem is time delay between grey relay and turquoise fuse for this fault. This has to be solved. Verifying device coordination by using time overcurrent plot for the whole system will consume a lot of time. For this task protection audits are better suited. In protection audit, user can select a network area of interest and define short circuit events that are to be examined. As soon as calculation has been finished protection audit report can be called. Verify device coordination will compare time delay between two neighboring protection devices, and coordination margin set in display window. Report contains three columns, one for each short circuit event. All fields of the report can be expanded separately. In this example, it is obvious that for single phase to ground fault on 0, 10 and 20% of the line length, secondary protection relay is tripping 0.08 seconds faster than the primary one. This has to be solved. Let us create time over current plot that will contain these two relays. To verify reported results, we will run single phase to ground fault on 50%, 20%, 10% and 0% of the line length. As expected for fault on 50% of the line length primary relay here red colored, is tripping faster than the secondary one in green color. What about 20%, 10% and 0%? Here is the problem evident, in all three of these cases secondary relay is tripping faster than the primary. In order to fix this problem, we will increase the pickup current value set in this directed time over current block. Let us repeat protection ordered calculation with this new settings. Comparing old with the new results, we can see, if mentioned issue has been eliminated. When finished, relay settings can be easily exported by using output of protection settings command.